Hello, everyone, and welcome to my Bachelor Nation 24 channel, I hope. Everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Aaron Erb told X he was only going on Bachelorette for clout. According to social media users, none of Gen Trans contestants were there for the right reasons. Was Aaron Erb only on the Bachelorette for clout? Keep reading for more on the rumors. Aaron Erb planned to leave show early, says X. Aaron Erb was one of Gen Trans suitors on season 21 of The Bachelorette. Fans of the show thought he had major potential because he already had connection to the franchise. He is the twin brother of Bachelor in Paradise fan favorite, Noah Erb. Noah found love with Abigail Herringer on season 7 of The Bachelor spinoff. They are tying the knot this month after three years of dating. But Aaron Erb was nothing like his brother. He immediately got into drama with Devin Strader over Jen Tran. Aaron spent more time arguing with Devin than getting to know Jen. He ultimately self-eliminated in the third episode. He left to pursue his dream of flying planes for the military. A Bachelor Nation fan took to Reddit to recount a story from a friend who claimed to be Aaron X. According to the X, they met up with Aaron Erb right before he left for the show. The ex allegedly found out he was going to be on Bachelorette after overhearing a phone call between Aaron and the producers. Noah's brother allegedly told the ex that he was only going for clout and planned to leave by the fourth episode. Aaron also allegedly expressed a desire to use his reality TV fame to begin a career as a life coach. Fans react to rumors he used Bachelorette for clout. Aaron Erd is already betting on an invitation to season 10 of Bachelor in Paradise. He has yet to respond to the allegations made by his ex. But other Bachelor Nation fans shared their reaction to claims he only joined the ABC show for clout. This dude is a clout chaser, but was not good on the show or social media. Interesting, but not surprising. He was very unserious. Disappointing, but not surprising. All that just to become a life coach. Now, bye. Aaron sucks, but honestly, TPTV need to take some of the responsibility for me. That's two guys they cast knowing they were dipping after a few weeks, him and Sam M. He felt like a producer plant from the start. The drama this season felt extra manufactured, and Aaron was so obviously just there to stir the pot. It kind of took me out of it all and made the season even less compelling. Even Noel was like Nabro. Aaron Erb strutted onto the set of The Bachelorette with the confidence of a man who knew exactly what he wanted. Well, that's what the audience thought at first. His charm, good looks, and a smile that could disarm anyone were enough to make Bachelorette Jen Tran take notice right away. But behind that dazzling smile and those picture-perfect dates, there was a shadow lurking, a whisper of ulterior motives that has everyone talking. Did Aaron Erb really tell his ex that he was only going on The Bachelor for clout? The bachelor who knew how to work a crowd. From the moment Aaron appeared on screen, it was obvious he had a way of capturing attention. He knew how to play to the cameras, always looking his best and delivering just the right amount of wit in his one-on-one -on -one moments. He exuded confidence, sometimes veering into cocky territory, but always managing to pull back just in time to remain likable. However, Aaron's arrival on The Bachelorette didn't come out of nowhere. Rumors quickly began swirling on social media that he had been in a relationship not long before joining the show. In a world where past relationships often come to light, his ex-girlfriend's claim began making the rounds on gossip pages and reality TV blogs. According to her, Aaron had told her flat out that he wasn't in it for love but for the fame. For the fans who had been rooting for Aaron, the revelation felt like a gut punch. Was he really just another fame chaser, trying to use his time in the spotlight to build his personal brand rather than find true love? The image of Aaron as the smooth-talking bachelor who seemed ready to settle down quickly shifted. Now, he seemed more like a man with one foot firmly planted in the influencer world. The ex-girlfriend speaks. A scorned ex can be a powerful voice, and when Aaron's former flame took to social media, the buzz was immediate. She didn't hold back. 
According to her, Aaron had been transparent from the beginning, just not with the audience. She claimed he had laid out his plan to gain clout from the show, build his Instagram following, and parlay his newfound fame into brand deals and sponsorships. Love? That was just a convenient storyline to play along with while cameras were rolling. In a detailed post, she wrote, Aaron always knew what he wanted out of life, and it wasn't a wife or a fairy tale romance. He told me he was going on the show for exposure to build his personal brand. He's playing the game, and that's all it ever was to him, a game. Her accusations were damning. They painted Aaron as a calculated man who saw The Bachelorette not as a journey to find love, but as a stepping stone to a different kind of success, the kind that comes with thousands of new followers, brand deals, and maybe even a spin-off or two. The Bachelor producers weigh in. Reality TV thrives on drama, and Aaron's storyline quickly became a juicy subplot for the show. The producers weren't about to let the whispers of his fame-hungry motivations go unnoticed. Behind the scenes, there were rumors of producers orchestrating moments where Aaron would be subtly questioned about his true intentions. A casual conversation with another contestant would lead to probing questions, and the sharp-eyed editors would zoom in on his reactions, amplifying any hint of doubt. The show thrives on keeping viewers hooked with the will-they-or-won't-they dynamic, and Aaron's potential clout-chasing added another layer to the intrigue. Was he there for Jin? Or was he there for the fame? It didn't matter that he was still pulling off flawless dates and charming the bachelorette. Now, every word, every glance, and every rose received was examined through the lens of his ex's claims. Aaron's response. Denial or deflection? As the rumors gained traction, Aaron's social media accounts became flooded with comments from skeptical fans. Some called him out directly, accusing him of leading Jen on while others were more supportive, dismissing the ex-girlfriend's claims as bitter ranting. Aaron, however, remained cool under pressure. In interviews and on his social platforms, he addressed the rumors, but not in the way fans might have expected. Instead of outright denying the accusations, Aaron focused on deflecting them. He didn't waste time slinging mud back at his ex or launching into lengthy justifications, Instead, he posted about his experiences on the show, emphasizing the good times and the growth he experienced during his time there. It was a classic move. If you can't deny, redirect. In one particularly telling Instagram story, Aaron posted, People will always talk, especially when they see someone chasing their dreams. Keep pushing, keep grinding, and don't let anyone dim your light. While he never mentioned his ex or the clout-chasing rumors directly, it was clear that Aaron wasn't interested in getting dragged into a public feud. Jen's reaction. Is she falling for a clout chaser? Jen Tran, meanwhile, was still being swept off her feet by Aaron's charm. The two seemed to share a connection, and their chemistry on screen was undeniable. But in the back of her mind, was Jen questioning Aaron's intentions too? The pressure from fans and the media was likely mounting. Behind closed doors, the producers may have pulled her aside, subtly reminding her of the show's narrative potential. After all, what's more dramatic than a contestant falling for someone who might be playing them? Jen's role as the bachelorette meant she had to trust her instincts, but with the weight of public opinion hanging over her, every interaction with Aaron became a balancing act. Was he really falling for her? Or was he playing the long game? And if Jen realized the truth too late, would she become just another casualty in Aaron's quest for fame?